know you've created an innovative formula for a video game once others stop borrowing from it. Demon Attack borrowed from Phoenix, Freeway borrowed from Frogger, and a whole shitload of games borrowed from Pac-Man. Here's another example. M.A.D. or MAD. MAD borrows from the Missile Command formula. And quite obviously, too. You control a photon cannon on the bottom center of the screen while protecting three energy stations on each side of you from missile attacks. Sounds kind of familiar, doesn't it? Well, there are some differences. For one thing, the missiles don't come straight out from the sky all at once. They cross horizontally and then drop down one at a time. You'll see which one the computer locks onto ahead of time when it turns white before dropping. Another difference is the cannon you're firing from. Unlike Missile Command, you'll get infinite bullets, but you can only fire two at a time. You also aren't using a crosshair cursor to aim. You're changing the angles of the cannon using the joystick. There are seven angles you can shoot at, three to each side and one straight up the center. After each wave you complete, the missiles will move and drop faster, they'll start to come from either side of the screen, and at about the fourth wave, they'll already be white so you won't be able to tell which one the computer locks onto. Aside from protecting the cities, or as they call them in this game, energy stations, you also want to protect the cannon itself, because if it gets hit, you'll be frozen for a few seconds while the cannon has to be repaired, I guess. A cool and original feature is the two-player mode, because it's not co-op and it's not an alternating fashion. It's head-to-head. -head. One player fires with the cannon like normal, while the other player moves a cursor around the screen to lock onto a missile and then drop it, choosing where they want the missile to go. You'll take turns playing the part of offense and defense, giving a whole new dynamic that really is the one thing that keeps this game from being a simple mediocre attempt to replicate an established game. One player mode is pretty ho-hum, but playing this game head-to-head -head is what really makes it worth playing.